What is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. And I just wanted to first uh, say, look at this insane title that King Miyato has. Look at this, Fastest Valiant. He doesn't even know how he got it. He got it in the mail, but it looks super cool. Love that title. But let's get into today's topic. So I wanted to just discuss a little bit about coupons and how I plan to spend them. And maybe ask your opinion in on it as well. So as you guys can see right now, we got about 52k coupons, and that's pretty good. We can buy basically any um, any ninja that costs only coupons, and it's pretty good. But on the other hand, there's a bunch of different ninjas out there. So we've been running our our little um, six pass Naruto for a while now, and he's good. He does the job. He's a great free to play ninja. Uh, uh, yeah, ninja. Especially, well, he's not as good as before, but he's still pretty good, and he works most of the time. But, we've seen a lot of new ninjas come out, and this team is honestly outdated. I don't win that much in Arena. It's pretty difficult to win even, like, even power battles. Or before, I would be able to beat people with lower power. Um, and that's becoming more difficult, so... The good thing is we do have a lot of coupons, which means that we can start investing into a new uh, new ninja. So there's actually a couple different ninjas that we can invest into. Um, and I'll just mention some of the more meta ones that have been coming up or suggested to me. The so first of all, we got Edo Minato, pretty standard guy. He's got a pretty good kit, and especially with his breakthroughs, I'm going to pull up Konoha Proxy so you guys can see as well. This website, by the way, is Konoha Proxy. If you guys didn't know, uh, I can put it in the link below. It's very useful for checking out different ninjas. Um, but let's go take a look at Edo Minato. So this is probably one of the uh, more like useful ninjas out there. So he is really good, but he does require a 4-star breakthrough. Um, in order to... or he requires 4 stars to break through. He's got some really good stuff in here, like for example he has basically with his Y plus 1 he can use his mystery every single round in combination with this chase. Uh, his plus 2 is also pretty good. I believe both of them can't miss, or I think this one can't miss and this one can miss. Um, but honestly he has a really good kit and he, this is a really good passive as well, causing the 70% chance of causing weaken is really good, especially against Kakazu teams. Um, King Minato, he runs uh, Edo Minato, so he has quite a lot of experience with them. And apparently the weakened debuff, although it just uh, removes like 30% damage from the people that are inflicted with it, it still is a massive chunk of damage removed from Kakazu and allows basically Edo Minato to counter Kakazu teams. Now that being said, I do have a plan on getting Edo Minato, but it's going to take a while. I don't plan on spending um, coupons on him, so I think I won't be buying him with my coupons. Now another super popular option has been Kakashi Summer. So Kakashi Summer is really useful, and he's probably you guys have probably seen him a lot, but he's just got an insane kit, like constant standards. Every time an opponent uses a mystery, he uses a standard, really good. His chase is insanely good, ignores a given amount of defense and resistance, absolutely shreds my team, and he has a really good mystery, which is undodgeable. And let's not forget his um, passive as well, which increases ninjutsu and attack by 60% every even round, which is good, especially if you have an initiative. If you don't, it can be a bit of a double-edged sword, but still very nice. Um, and I was going to plan on getting him. I think I actually have like 15 or so of his fragments. Um, but later on, I decided against him. Well, if you guys have, if you guys want to see him, I might eventually get him by piecing him together. But the reason why I chose not to get him was because I saw a new ninja come out in China. Actually, not a new ninja, but it's more of a breakthrough for him. It's actually good Sage Kabuto. If we take a look at Sage Kapito, no one really uses him right now. This is honestly not that great. He's got some unique things like can uh, revive people with his standard if they die. But no one's really been using him. However, I took a look at his breakthroughs after they came out and they look really good. 
and like I mean really good so just take a look at this 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 is like okay deal some interruption and uh, suppression of super flip but if you take a look at his Y plus one ooh, becomes undodgeable and causes interruption to nine people so yeah just take a look at that difference suppression of um, debuff immunity is super useful also, it's plus two is super armor, but it's not undodgeable. That's why I would choose to go with Y plus one for that undodgeable it's mystery. And he gets um, plus two or the explosive level two for one round, which increases his critical by 60% and makes him immune to all debuffs. Now his standard or yeah, his standard is about the same, but Y can be pretty annoying. Like, like that it has a good chance of causing low float and increases the mysteries and mystery cooldown enemies mystery cooldown by one round i can see that being insanely insanely annoying especially coupled with his passive which we'll check out in a little bit his chase is also incredible both of these are really good but before he would just cause two units to take immobile but with his chase now broken through it is guaranteed immobile guaranteed immobile is incredible this would allow him to counter so many teams like Kushina, Kakazu, basically every single ninja you can name. Um, it's just really useful because I don't think any other unit has guaranteed a mobile. This means that you can't reflect it, you can't become immune to it. It's just super useful. And his why or his passive also becomes incredibly overpowered. Basically, all his um, all of his kits becomes incredibly overpowered. His pl Y plus one removes all debuffs from your entire lineup, even if Kabuto is controlled. Your entire lineup, even if Kabuto, that means you can't, your team literally can't be controlled at the, at the beginning of the round. Maybe later you can, but like, this means if you have initiative, you're basically guaranteed to always win because you're always going to be going first and you'll have no debuffs you can control them do whatever you want and couple that with the guaranteed immobile they're not going to have fun and of course we can't forget that he also scales every time a unit dies so this means that if we use him as position one our back rank dies he scales up and guess what he's got another passive is um plus two is it i think let me check here yeah it is plus two Whenever an uh, enemy casts a mystery skill, Kabuto gets an extra standard. So you take that unique aspect from Kakashi and now you give it to Kabuto. But let's not forget, when a unit dies, he revives them. But if someone uses like three mysteries, well, you got four mysteries now, you can revive your entire team and deal damage. It's like insanely overpowered. And this stacks on top of with his... um with his Y plus one stage mode, because now you can scale every round while healing, while reviving your back rank. And if you don't need to revive them, you can just increase the mystery cooldown for your opponent team. It's like an insane combination of kits. And this is just absolutely incredible. This is why I want to go for him. The price for him, by the way, to get him to four star, which is probably what's going to be required since most uh, um, EN units require four star, to actually be broken through is about 45k coupons which i am in the range for but that's not taking into account the costs for experimental um, vials and protections which is what i'm saving up right now and that is the hope that i want to just try to get him because he looks absolutely insane like there's no way i <laughs> it's just incredible I can see Kakazu maybe one-shotting him round one, but if we can prevent that, I think he would be really good. Now there is another ninja though that one of the main reasons I want to make this video that I'm not entirely sure of, and that is Kisame Samehada. Oh, you guys didn't see this one coming. This guy, he gets a breakthrough really soon. He doesn't have it right now, but very soon he will be getting one. And he is actually really good because he has his own set. It's a different type of good from uh, from Sage Kapado, but it, he's got some interesting stuff. It's mainly his Y plus one mystery, which is like the normal mystery, except now it causes um, the opponent's mystery that you target to increase it by 20 for two rounds, which is good. 
And every time he gets hit, he decreases his mystery cooldown by one, which means you can probably start spamming this mystery. And I don't think it does the same thing as um, as this normal one where it locks in your mysteries. It only just causes interruption and doesn't ha keep like a barrier. But I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure it's just instant interruption, not like constant prevention. Um, his standard is okay. It's not super good. I mean, it's suppressed super armor is okay. This is pretty much the same. His um, scaling does get pretty insane here. He has some kind of the same scaling as Kakazu, depending on your air chakra. Um, this one has the absorption of chakra, and this one just has 2% scaling per uh, chakra, which makes him to go to up to 160%. I think this one is up to 100%. So this one is slightly better for scaling. And he's got some pretty good passives here, which adds even more scaling. You can see it increases attack and ninjutsu by 10% every time a unit is defeated and can be triggered up to three times. But these make him scale a lot. But the main reason people go for him is for like a round one blitz team. If you combine him with Kakazu, it's just absolutely destruction. Because now you got a mystery here that hits the entire team. You got Kakazu just hitting the entire team. It's just insane. I don't know. I would like to hear your thoughts about it. This is a bit of a longer segment. Um, I don't know who to go for who or who's the best choice to go for. But for now, I'm thinking of just aiming for Kabuto because he seems like a reasonable goal. We shouldn't expect his breakthroughs to come out for a couple of months. I'm expecting it around mid-February. If the general trend of how the breakthroughs are released continues, but we'll see. That's going to depend on the future. For now, it's just saving up. Um, but yeah, so that was a little bit of a different segment there. I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy it. I just kind of wanted to have some other things to talk about instead of the events every week because it gets a little bit repetitive. And I thought I'd ask your opinion on some things as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that. It's going to be a while until we can actually get that team up but while we do it we can still do a lot of prep i've been buying the kabuto sages while i can and just getting the experimental vials and stuff ready uh, but that said let's go over the events for this week just to kind of end us off here we do have shinobi feast which uh some nice rewards here nothing too special but it's free stuff Amusement Park still here. Limited time shop. We got the Prosperous Times outfit up here. And we got Sage Kabuto, which is what I'm going for. So, of course, got to get that. She Sweet Kimono is also here. We had time in the shop a few weeks ago. I feel like it came back really soon. Sakura's Gift is here. Uh, I don't think I haven't looked into here too much. I know there's one that gives training potions. Yeah, this one. I think I'm going to go for this. It's free training potions. Why not? Fateful Choice is back, and they put a lot of ninjas in here. <laughs> like, look at this. You got Naruto Six Times, you got Kakashi Summer, you have Minato Edo Tensei, Himaru Halloween, and Hashirama Senji. Like, five ninjas in this event. Absolutely. Well, six, actually. He's got Sasuke on the other side, but that's a lot of ninjas for one event. Wheel of Fortune, we have Kushina Christmas up here. Uh, oh, and it's still up here. Okay. I was looking at this the other day, and I was like, what happens to the ultimate um, essence? I thought it was in the 100 slot, but it's for the first place. Charm rebate, battle armor rebate, and then lastly, we have Sakura Festo, which has a lot of ninjas on it as well. I mean, just one frag, but hey, it's a lot of ninjas. A lot of variety there. Yeah, this week's events were not that great. Um, but I mean, I'll take some free rewards, I guess. Not the greatest, but I'll take it. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.